Hi, it's Mark Medina with USA Today, national NBA writer. It's day two of quarantine here in Orlando at the ESPN Wild World of Sports Complex at the Coronado Springs Hotel. And got some good news. I took my first coronavirus test last night, came out negative. But the reality is I have to stay in quarantine up through Sunday night. And as long as I get seven consecutive negative tests, I'll th then be out of quarantine. So I thought I'd walk you through some of the protocols that the NBA is having us do and some of the gadgets that they're giving us to help with, you know, the, tracking their data and, and being on top of things here. First, they gave us this Disney Magic Band and not only is that a, a hotel room key, but it's tracking specific public locations that you've been at in the event that if you are then diagnosed with COVID later on, they can look at that last point of entry, maybe clear the area so other people aren't in danger. Now, another thing that the NBA has had us do, they're having us download a My Health uh, app where we go in every day, we open the app, we fill out uh, a medical questionnaire reporting if we have symptoms or not. So far, I've been good. Uh, but they've also given us different devices to report here. So they, they've given us a thermometer here. Then they gave us this fingertip pulse oximeter. That's the box. I open the device right here. It'll take some sort of reading. I'm not even gonna pretend to be a medical health expert. I don't know what this is doing. I guess it's taking the pulse. I just put the number into the, the health app. They analyze the results. If they are satisfied with it, each category will be in a green zone. So far I've been in a green zone and I, then I get uh, tested every day. It entailed uh, two nasal swabs for each side of the nose. It wasn't deep. It was just at the tip, so it was pretty non-invasive. And then a swab around the mouth. Procedure took about 10 seconds, and then they went on their way. So uh, a lot of interesting things, and I'll be sure to share more of what uh, NBA bubble life in Orlando has been like in days to come.